this article at the Times is a great summary of what we know about the effects of sleep on behavior, and particularly in kids. Um, the long-term consequences, though, of kids getting wired instead of tired, for instance, with either sleep deprivation or problems with their with breathing at night, are really unknown. We know that ADHD turns out to be ADHD in adults. So the so the diagnosis and the and the tendency to be hyperactive follows kids from childhood into adulthood. And if the real reason for their overactivity, their problems focusing, their behavioral problems in, in childhood is sleep disorder breathing, it's a real tragedy because the kids' uh, brains are developing a deep, uh, an area deep in the brain called the hypothalamus is developing. The kinds of neurotransmitters and, and pro-inflammatory kind of chemicals that the body uses to marshal the soldiers of the immune system are elevated in these kids. And they continue on to change the, change the hypothalamus or the very deep structures in the brain as the kids develop into adulthood. Whether these, these problems that kids have roll over into adulthood into, into di diagnoses like ADHD in adulthood, problems focusing, uh, problems with performance, or even bipolar disorder. We don't know, but the studies are being done and need to be done. So it's really important to fix these, br these sleep-related breathing problems in kids. Of course, th the first thing you think about is tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. It's appropriate as a first-line treatment for kids with big tonsils, big adenoids. But sometimes, sometimes these kids need the same therapy that adults need, namely CPAP, positive airway pressure, to open, open their airways at night so they can breathe. Some tip-offs for, for sleep disorder breathing would be a kid who's a noisy breather, a kid who tosses and turns in his sleep, a mouth breather, uh, snoring, particularly in kids. Snoring is common in, in adults, but it's not normal. It's never normal. It's always a sign that a person is having problems getting air through the upper airway. Uh, side sleeping, sleeping on the tummy. All of these are indications that the body is not getting enough air at night, so it's forcing person to sleep on the side or the tummy in order to get the tongue out of the way. Kids can be tired of CPAP just like adults. They have to be educated. And the beauty of this disorder is, the sleep-related breathing disorder is, it can be fixed. It, they, and, and it can be treated and, and lives improved um, if the disorder is recognized. So you need to be aware of this as parents because 99% of your pediatricians are not going to be tuned to this. They're going to be trying to get through their day, just trying to see the patients, just trying to get the sore throat uh, patients and the asthma patients and all the things that go wrong with kids through the day. They aren't going to be tuned to maximum performance for your child. You're the only one who can be an advocate for your child.